Hello everybody, welcome back. Something really exciting has happened and I wanted to share it with you. Um, it's really exciting for two reasons. One is that um, my eldest son has accomplished something he's been trying to do for quite a while and he's done it um, using a YouTube video. And number two, we uh, caught the whole event using this, the uh, DJI Osmo uh, Go gimbal, um, which I talked about a while ago. I'm just gonna turn it on actually so you can see it. But basically, my, uh, my son Logan, who's five years old, has been trying to learn to ride a bike and uh, it's not been going that well. He tried last year, we've then not had use of our garden because of the building work for, for this year. So we went back out this summer and we thought, come on, we're gonna crack it. Didn't want to use stabilizers because people had said that then you have to kind of get them, wean them off the stabilizers. So we thought we're gonna go for it. Um, we were using a bike that we got at the local reclaim center because we thought we'll see how he gets on before we choose a sort of uh, a proper bike. Um, so that was a fiver, so that was great. And we had a broomstick that we were using in the back of it to help him stabilize. And we thought if we just keep taking him out, he's gonna get it, he's gonna get it. Anyway, it didn't happen, it was becoming a bit of a thing. All of his friends could do it, he still couldn't, bless him. And uh, the more he thought about it, the harder he found it and um, it was a struggle. So we went to YouTube, don't know why we didn't do that in the first place really, but we found this five minute um, cycling method and it actually worked. So it was brilliant. Uh, it was just about teaching them to stabilize um, using their legs really. So rather than trying to get them to stabilize while they're cycling along, just get them stationary and uh, get them to start feeling um, the, the way they can stabilize it by just putting their feet down and then they kind of get the confidence and they're away with it. But I'll post the link to the video that we used um, below in case you're in the same boat. But yeah, this, which I've just turned on, was the amazing thing that we had at the time. So I did a little introduction video to this a couple of months ago, but I luckily had chucked this in my bag. I hadn't got high hopes that it was gonna be the day that he learned to cycle. So I had this and my phone in there, just sort of just in case I can grab a bit of footage and I'm still kind of trying it out, to be honest. Um, but he amazingly had a couple of goes and then got going. And so when he took his kind of first lap of the, uh, the place where we were teaching him, um, I had this on me. So I was able to run around and follow him around. And basically, obviously, this is a gimbal. So it just keeps all of the footage really, really stable. Um, and uh, it's, it created sort of beautiful cinematic footage. And um, we made a little movie, which I will share with you now. Um, and we shared the movie on Facebook um, and social media at the time and friends were all commenting and liking it and saying, oh, it was amazing. But obviously if I'd just been doing it with my mobile phone and not using this gimbal, it would have been probably quite unwatchable because I would have had me running um, around after him. It wouldn't have been stable, but as you'll be able to see, it's got a really great quality to it. So it's a really great memory. It's perfect for something like this. Um, I was so pleased that I had this on me. And, uh, and that you never know when these things are going to happen. So it's, it wasn't one of those videos we could plan because we didn't have, like I say, great expectations of that day. But it's all great. It all worked out well. So, um, yeah, enjoy the footage. See what you think. See this in action and, um, and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Today we're learning to cycle.